With the appreciation of how underweight the Pensacolas and Northamptons were, the U.S. decided to use the extra weight to increase protection. Of the cruisers just starting construction, it was too late to heavily modify the two Portlands, but the rest could be. Well-rounded for the time, these 9,950-ton ships became the seven New Orleans-class cruisers. New Orleans was started March 14, 1931, and commissioned February 15, 1934. Astoria was started September 1, 1930, and commissioned December 16, 1933. Minneapolis was started June 27, 1931, and was commissioned May 19, 1934. Tuscaloosa was started September 3, 1931, and commissioned August 7, 1934. San Francisco was started September 9, 1931, and commissioned February 10, 1934. Quincy was started November 15, 1933, and commissioned June 9, 1936. Vincennes was started January 2, 1934, and commissioned February 24, 1937. Though none would receive any major upgrades, minor variations would divide them into three unofficial subgroups. As with previous cruisers, the first three were originally designated light cruisers before being redesignated heavy cruisers under the first London Naval Treaty. The four survivors would be decommissioned in February 1946 or a year later in February 1947. All would carry the now standard 8-inch 55 caliber guns in three triple turrets, two forward and one aft. The last four would use a new lightweight turret. Secondary armament would remain eight open single mount mid 5 inch 25 caliber anti aircraft guns, four on either side. Small AA and radar would be upgraded throughout the war. Up to six float planes could be accommodated on the two midship catapults and double hangar. Again, no more than four were usually carried. Propulsion remained eight boilers in four rooms, supplying 107,000 horsepower to four shafts driving the ships up to 33 knots. In shortening the hull 20 feet over the preceding classes, the unit principle of fitting an engine room between boiler rooms 2 and 3 was dropped, and both engine rooms were put behind boiler room 4. For safety's sake, the last three had auxiliary diesel generators added to provide power in case a single hit knocked out all eight boilers. Armor again improved. Side armor increased to a maximum of 5 inches. Deck armor was up to 2.5 inches. Protection for the main guns was vastly improved. Turret armor leaped up to 8 inches. Barbette armor was increased up to 5 inches in all, except Tuscaloosa and San Francisco, which had up to 6.5 inches. New Orleans was at Pearl Harbor with her engines disassembled for upkeep when the Japanese attacked. She received very minor damage in the attack. She, she spent mid-January to mid-February 1942 at the west coast having her engines overhauled, completed, and receiving minor upgrades. After escorting a convoy to Australia, she returned to Pearl Harbor and joined the carrier Yorktown in sailing back to the southwest Pacific, where she supported Yorktown and Lexington at the Battle of the Coral Sea. Returning to Pearl Harbor, she sailed with the carrier Enterprise at the Battle of Midway. In August 1942, she screened the carrier Saratoga at the Battle of the Eastern Solomons and then escorted her back home when hit by a Japanese submarine to torpedo. She returned to the Solomons in late November 1942. At the overnight Battle of Tassafarunga, she was hit by a 24-inch torpedo which blew everything forward of her number two turret clean off. Repairs would keep her out of action until August of 1943. Returning to action, she would spend the rest of the war escorting carriers and providing fire support. Astoria was escorting the carrier Lexington on December 7, 1941. In January 1942, she escorted the damaged carrier Saratoga to the west coast for repairs. In February 1942, she joined the carrier Yorktown and escorted her through the Battle of the Coral Sea and the Battle of Midway. On August 9, 1942, she was sunk in the overnight battle of Savo Island. Minneapolis was conducting at-sea training in Hawaiian waters when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. In late January, 
she joined the carrier Lexington and escorted her through the Battle of the Coral Sea. At the Battle of Midway, she escorted the carrier Yorktown. At the Battle of Eastern Solomons, she was with the carrier Saratoga. At the end of November 1942, she was hit by two torpedoes in the overnight Battle of Tassafaronga, which blew her bow forward of the number one turret off. Prepared by August 1943, she would spend the rest of the war escorting carriers and providing gunfire support, most notably at the Battle of Surigao Strait. Tuscaloosa was patrolling Icelandic waters when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. She spent all of 1942, 43, and most of 44 in the Atlantic. She escorted convoys, most notably the disastrous PQ-17, throughout the Atlantic and Norwegian Sea. She also provided fire support for Operation Torch, the Normandy invasion, and southern France, before finally moving to the Pacific in late 1944. She would spend the rest of the war providing fire support at Iwo Jima and Okinawa. San Francisco was also in Pearl Harbor being overhauled when the Japanese attacked. Lightly damaged, she sailed with the carrier Saratoga during the aborted relief of Wake Island in mid-December 1941. In February 1942, she moved in the southwest Pacific and joined the carrier Lexington, missing both the Battle of the Coral Sea and the Battle of Midway due to escorting convoys she rejoined the fleet in time for the Guadalcanal battles. She was escorting the carrier Wasp when it was sunk. Next, she was flagship of the overnight battle of Cape Esperance. She was the flagship of the first naval battle of Guadalcanal, where both an admiral and her captain were killed, and the ship was heavily damaged. Having been repaired by February 1943, she took part in the mid-1943 Alaskan campaign. Returning to the main fleet, she spent the rest of the war escorting carriers and providing fire support. Quincy was on convoy escort duty in the mid-Atlantic when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Remaining in the North Atlantic escorting convoys for the first half of 1942, she transferred to the Pacific in July 1942. On August 9, 1942, at the overnight Battle of Savo Island, she was sunk as a result of Japanese torpedoes and gunfire. Vincennes was escorting a convoy through a fierce storm in the southeast Atlantic when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Returning to the East Coast in late January 1942, she escorted the carrier Hornet through the Doolittle Raid. At the Battle of Midway, she was transferred to the Yorktown in an attempt to bolster its defenses. On August 9, 1942, at the overnight Battle of Savo Island, she was sunk as a result of Japanese torpedoes and gunfire.